we have pretty sad news here pretty sad news i know we started a bit heavy this podcast i do apologize but this is fucking tragic have you seen this olympian rebecca chiptegi dies after being set alight by her ex-boyfriend could you imagine that being set alight by her ex-boyfriend oh my god i can't imagine a more painful way to die like fucking hell man R.I.P. to Rebecca Chiptegi. R.I.P. to Rebecca Chiptegi. Wow. What a awful, awful news. It continues. It says, um, the 33-year-old Ugandan marathon runner who competed in the recent Paris Olympics suffered extensive burns after the Sunday attack. Authorities in the northwest Kenya, where Chiptegi lived and trained, said she was targeted after returning home from church with two of her daughters. <sighs> this man set her alight after she came back from church is the boyfriend also the the, the the father of the children or no her father joseph kipchegi said that they had lost a very supportive daughter fellow ugandan athlete james kerwo um, told the bbc about her generosity and how she helped out other runners financially a report filed by the local administrator alleged that the athlete and her ex-partner had been wrangling over a piece of land police say investigations is underway god almighty <laughs> if you're after oh my god uche uche secondly i'm about to say in the chat i just saw your comment just what i'm about to say it i'm about to say if you're african and you don't know about land disputes between relatives from back home you're not really african there's no way you can be an african you can be of african descent and not have heard this through your parents siblings extended family this is like a this is like something that just applies throughout the entire fucking continent doesn't matter where you're from in Africa. Everybody has heard of issues regarding family members and sometimes like really gruesome outcomes over land. It's absolutely crazy. And sometimes it's over land where two people aren't even in the same place. They're not even there in Africa. They're arguing about land and both people are in other parts of the world. Honestly, bro. Like poverty is really, really a curse, man. It honestly is a curse. This, like, this way of thinking and this way of living... And this way of kind of dealing with problems, like, God almighty, man. R.I.P. to Rebecca Chiptegi. Jesus Christ. Chiptegi from a region just across the border in Uganda is said to have bought a plot in Transnozonia, in Transnozai, Nozoi, how do I pronounce that? Um, a county and built a house to be near Kenya's elite athletics training center. Attacks on women have been... So she bought a house to be next to the training center and this cretin of a man felt in, entitled to that land. He felt he deserved that land. He felt that land should be his. <sighs> Attacks on women have become a major concern in Kenya. In 2022, at least 34% of the women said that they had experienced physical violence according to a national survey. God almighty. This tragedy is a stark reminder of the urgent need um, to combat gender-based violence, which has increasingly affected even elite athletes, as Kenya sports minister um, Chip no kip chumba murkumo um different organizations with the un also spoken on the issue we joined the un population um fund and the un women is strongly condemning chip take violent murder there's there there she is there absolutely killing it on the fucking track on the course like fucking no r.i.p to be back up to take man you didn't deserve to go out of that way man r.i.p to you speaking to journalists outside the hospital where she was treated mr chip take asked the kenyan government Ask the Kenyan government to do what? What do you ask the Kenyan government to do? Ask the Kenyan government um, to ensure justice has been done after the death of his daughter. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah. We have lost our breadwinner. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Dad. Oh, my God, Dad. Can you relax? Can you relax for one moment? Your daughter just died by being set on fire and you're talking about your main breadwinner is gone. Fucking hell, man. Sometimes African relatives back home can be a fucking nightmare. We have lost our breadwinner. And wondered how their two young children would proceed with their education. You're already begging for money. This woman isn't even cold. She hasn't even been buried yet. And you're begging for money already. These people, man. These flipping people. Dr. Kimani Mumbuangu, 
a consultant at Moy teaching um, and referral hospital in Everett said the local media that the staff did all they could for her, but the athlete had severe percentages of burns, which unfortunately led to multiple organ. Oh my God. Could you imagine how painful that was? She had a high percentage of burns, which unfortunately led to a multiple organ failure, which ultimately led to her passing this morning at 5.30 in the morning. Multiple organ failure. God, this woman was suffering until the very end. R.I.P. to Rebecca Chiptegi. R.I.P. Kerber, who often trained with Chiptegi and had visited her hospital, told the BBC that she was a very affable person, helped us all even financially, and she bought me training shoes when she came back from the Olympics. She was like an older sister to me. Uganda's Athletics Federation posted on, on X, we are deeply saddened and announced the passing of our athlete, Rebecca Chiptegi, early this morning. We tried to create violence to domestic violence. At the Federation, we condemn such acts and call for justice. May her soul rest in peace. This is heartbreaking, even more heartbreaking that it's not the first time African community has lost such an incredible female artist, female athlete, um, to domestic violence. British Olympian runner wrote on X. Chief Tegi's former boyfriend was also admitted to her between Eldoret, but is less severe burns. He's still in intensive care, but his condition is improving and stable. I hope he's. Imp I hope his condition doesn't improve. His condition doesn't doesn't deserve to improve. That boyfriend condition does, does not deserve to be improved. Like, oh my God. Earlier local police chief Jeremiah, Jeremiah Ole Kosyom was quoted by local media as saying the couple were heard quarreling, um, quarreling outside their house. During the altercation, the boyfriend was seen pouring a liquid on a woman before but Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's end it there. I'm not going to read more, man. R.I.P. to Rebecca Chitegi, man. R.I.P. to Rebecca Chitegi. You did not deserve to die that way. You did not deserve to die that way at all. That man's an absolute monster. I hope he doesn't wake up, honestly. Like, really, really, really tragic way to go. Prayers and thoughts go out to his to her young daughters, left without a mother, with a, you know, with a granddad that's already asking for money already. Can you imagine the horror, like, yeah, man. <sighs> R.I.P. Rebecca Chitegi. R.I.P. to Rebecca Chitegi. R.I.P. Truly R.I.P., man.